from London. And it's not independent proof. Oh, okay. So, so we have witnesses who watched him receive revelation. No, the, the, we, we, we have witnesses, yes. Witnesses who I hope you Yes, we do. He, he received, okay. One second, one second. He received revelation for 23 years. And the disciples uh, bear witness that they saw when when the revelation came upon him, his his, uh, his mount that he's on would, would sink, showing that they hit the weight of it. Or Aisha and Anha would feel the weight of himself when he's feeling the revelation. Well, well, whether you think so or not is irrelevant. Of course it's irrelevant, but it's not too heavy. Well, no, no, no. Okay, I want okay. to find that. I want to oh, find okay, that. you can find that out. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is your proof that Paul spoke to Jesus? Yeah. Where is your proof that Paul spoke to Jesus on the road to Damascus? He mentioned that. Where's your proof? You have no proof. Yes, I got proof you no because proof. he was accepted by the rest of the disciples. No, no, you've got no proof. Yes. Oh, 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 okay. And Paul, I mean, this is going to be too deep for you, I truly believe. But Paul was teaching contrary to the disciples. He was teaching a different doctrine no. to the disciples. Really? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Was Paul teaching the Jews the law was finished? Why? Was Paul teaching Jews that the law was abolished? Yes, because I mean, here, because Paul knew that after the Old Testament came the New Covenant. Right. Which is so Paul was teaching Jews, don't be circumcised, don't keep the laws of Moses. All right. And what did the disciples have to say about that? Well, there is a dispute with Saint Peter. What? What? Well, sorry. There is. There was a dispute with Saint Peter. No, no, no. There was a dispute with James. Yeah. And it wasn't a dispute. Ja right, right, right. Were the, were, was the disciples of Jesus teaching the Jews the laws abolished? Yeah, no. no, I mean, no. Prove it to me they were. Well, because, I mean, they, they preach in different ways. I mean, different ways from the Old Testament, isn't it? No, 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 no. no, no, no prove no. to me, prove to me that the disciples of Jesus were teaching Jews that the laws abolished, no need for circumcision, no more, no need to keep the dietary laws. Prove to me that that's what the disciples of Jesus were teaching. Well, the thing is that, the, I mean, the circumcision was abolished. So it means indirectly... No, 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 no. Circumcision was not abolished. Circumcision was only abolished, or not even abolished, was not necessary for, for Gentile converts. Nothing to do with Jews. The Jews kept the dietary laws. The Jews kept the law of circumcision. Yeah? So the question is this. Do the disciples of Jesus, who walked and talked with Jesus, apparently, who witnessed his miracles, who heard the explanations of his power, Parables, yeah, who were there on the day of Pentecost and filled with the Holy Spirit, yeah, they were teaching something contrary to what Paul was teaching. Yes. Read the Bible properly. Yes. Read the Bible properly. So here's your problem. Properly. So there's your problem. Here's your problem. So, you so there's your problem. Properly. And do you know how I know? Do you know how I know? Because in your Bible, when Paul goes to Jerusalem, what happens? What does James say to Paul? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Okay, so James says to Paul, there are many, many people here who are zealous for the law, and they've heard that you've been teaching that the law's finished. And if they hear that you're here, they're basically going to come after you. So to show you're not saying this thing they're accusing you of, go with these four people and take the Nazarite vow. And he did. This is to indicate that he's not doing the thing he is doing. So your claim that Paul was teaching the same as the disciples is completely debunked. Now here's the problem you've got. Paul is apparently receiving revelation for 10 years from something. Yeah, from some Jesus or whatever he claims. Yeah? Ten years revelation. And whatever is revealing to Paul is something completely different to what the disciples are teaching. Yes. You can shake your head. You can shake your head as much Paul as you like. Knew the life of Jesus so it's very, very simple. Through the apostles. So it's very, very simple. Through the apostles. And he developed. So it's very, very simple. He developed the theology. So it's very, very simple. It's a very, very simple process. Paul taught the law was abolished. The disciples taught it wasn't. Yes. Yes. 
no. I said no. What did it Why do you say no? Means nothing. And when you say yes, I say no. Why? Why? Because well, I, 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 I cannot say I'll no. Expe- I'll, you say yes. I'll explain it to you. Because you're a Christian. Yes. And it says it in your Bible. That's why you can't say no. I don't think that you misunderstood the Bible. No, I think you've not read it. Yes, I read the Bible. But now with the details, I don't know. But I have read the Bible. But very easy to misunderstand the Bible. So you cannot leave the Bible on the hands of anyone. Because the Bible, there is a lot of metaphors, there are a lot of symbolic but, things. Yeah. There are, so, so, and if you don't, shall, don't... Shall I tell you the problem you're, you're next? Literally. Shall I tell you the next problem? You're literally. Shall I tell you the next problem you've got? Here's the next problem you've got, okay? So now we have a, we have a problem. We've got the disciples of Jesus teaching something, and we've got Paul teaching something else. No. Yes. And the authority is in Jerusalem with the disciples of Jesus, right? Where does doctrine of Christianity come from? Paul. Where did the church fathers take the or- origin, uh, uh, original sin from? Paul. Yes. You no. shake your head. No. It's a reality. No. So here's the problem no. you've got now. No. He developed the teaching of Christ no. to the no, 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 no. Gentiles. What Paul was, was teaching the... was contrary to what the disciples were teaching and the church fathers took from this guy who was teaching contrary to the disciples of Jesus. So now your Christianity is not the teachings of Jesus through his disciples, it's through the teachings of Paul and whatever was revealing to him. No. Yes. No. And the problem you've got no. now is, no. and here's the amazing thing, no. Paul had the Holy Spirit no. and the disciples had the Holy Spirit and they're teaching different things. No. No. And, then, and then the amazing thing is then, you bring your church fathers and your church history to the table who've all got the Holy Spirit as well and we can already see the Holy Spirit is trolling and now all of a sudden now you're relying on church fathers because they claim Holy Spirit inspiration and through that Holy Spirit inspiration they lean on Paul. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, no. It's like come a brrrr. No, no, brrrr. Like I mean, you, I mean, take the past properly. The church fathers, oh no, the apostolic fathers, the apostolic, you know the difference between apostolic fathers and church fathers? You know the difference? You know the difference? The apostolic fathers were the, 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 the people that got in touch with the disciples of Jesus Christ, <laughs> or the apostles, okay? And, what? Apostolic fathers. Which is Polish stuff? Which, which one? San Irineo, for example. Yeah, so Polycarp. Polycarp? Polycarp, for example. So Polycarp was the disciple of John? I said, excuse me. I'm, 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 one second. And just fathers. Was Polycarp a disciple of John? Huh? Was Polycarp a disciple of John? What, what? Was Polycarp a disciple of John? Probably, I think he said John. Yeah, but he wouldn't listen to John, I think. Okay. But he never quotes him. Huh? But he never quotes from him. He never, quotes from the he never quotes from the Gospel of John. Anyway, so the point here we're having is this. It doesn't matter whether it's an apolis, apop, apop, what do you call it? A populist, a populistic father. The problem you've got... Apostolic apost- father. Ap- apostolic. Apostolic okay, father. Okay, okay. People who knew apostolic father. The disciple apostolic father. Oh, okay, okay. But well, the problem you've got is this, you see. You say that these apostolic fathers knew the disciples, yeah? But they don't take from them, they take from Paul. If they can be from Paul and other teachings. No, they don't. Yes, of course they do. No, they don't. Of course they do. No, they don't. They do. Okay, where did the disciples of Jesus teach original sin? Huh? Where did the disciples of Jesus teach original sin? Original sin. If you know a bit of theology that I doubt it, <laughs> that I doubt it, you will know, okay, of course, I mean, this thing is, I mean, a fairy tale. I like this guy. What He's I'm, better than the same What I'm going to tell for you is fairy tales. I know that fairy tales. Celestial music. You know that he was sent, Jesus Christ, to the world, to redeem the world from their sins. No. I know. <laughs> okay, so. I don't think that's necessary. Why do you think that's necessary? Why does God need to send Jesus Christ to this world to die for your sins? Because God made uh, offense to God. And a man cannot uh, make any merit. Says who? Any merit because God is infinite. Says who? So it has to be one infinite. Who says that? 
Isn't the Bible? Where? Who, God, who wrote read, it? Read the Bible. No, 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 no. Who says that you can't reconcile with God without this? You can read it. It's in the New Testament, no? Yeah, it's in the New Testament. Who wrote it? Say it loud, say it proud. Matthew. Paul. Paul. Matthew. Your good deeds are like filthy rags before Hugh, the Lord. You and. Uh, no, not at all. And John. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Yes, Ex yes, no, yes, no. yes. Oh, oh, okay. Let's deal with Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Who are they? Who are they? Luke? Who's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? Yeah. Who? Why? Who are these people that you named? Why are they so special? Because they, I mean, because they, I mean, they walk about Jesus Christ, oh. or wash. I mean, they were. Why are you laughing about? Because you're wrong. Why are you laughing? Because you're wrong. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Why Why is, I, I keep giving you the rope. Here's the rope. Here's the rope. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Tell me about Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Go on. Matthew, 